time. So thank everyone to be uh, in this presentation. I'm, you know, I'm pleased to uh, introduce Vladik. He's going to present this work about declarative VGPUs or MDEV configuration in Kubevir. And I'm looking forward to hear the presentation. Thank you, Vlad. Thank you. Um, and thank you, everyone, uh, for joining. I am, um, I really plan to be, um, this to be a short session, rather, uh, mostly to report on the progress we've made uh, towards uh, providing a better um, usability for virtual GPUs and Qubit in general. <clears throat> but uh, before we um, uh, jump into the new changes we've made, I, I want to take a step back and uh, kind of recap on the uh, all of the existing support for host devices and the immediate device assignment in, in Qubit, uh, simply because uh, this new work uh, builds on top of that. Um, so the previous iteration was about us trying to uh, facilitate uh, the work of the administrator that they needed to do to make PCI devices and uh, vGPUs um, to become available in the cluster. And um, um, basically, instead of um, um, letting the administrator um, deploy a dedicated device plugin for every device on every node, uh, we've introduced an API that uh, with this API, the administrator can simply um, list the permitted devices in the cluster uh, with the corresponding uh, resource name. And um, uh, Kubert will then um, uh, discover these devices on nodes and uh, will start the device plugin for, uh, for, uh, for this resource. And of course, uh, this configuration can be done outside of uh, Kubert uh, completely. Um, anyone who is interested in running uh, their own device plugin and uh, taking care of the allocation um, in their device plugin, um, all the administrator needs to do in this case is just uh, to list the device and indicate that um, this resource is being provided by, um, a res uh, by an external uh, device plugin. And uh, in that case, uh, Kubert will just uh, permit the device uh, to be used in the cluster, uh, so virtual machines can uh, still um, request this device, uh, but uh, all the uh, handling uh, will be will be done by an external device plugin. And of course, uh, the removal of um, any entry uh, in that API will lead uh, Kubert to disable um, the relevant device plugin. And um, um, yeah, and that's it. Um, so um, here we can see an example of a uh, virtual machine instance um, um, requesting um, an, <clears throat> an existing resource. And uh, for example, on the left side, uh, um, the virtual machine instance is requesting uh, two of these devices and it uh, will land on the node uh, where these devices are being advertised. Um, so now let's talk a little bit uh, about um, vGPUs. And uh, when it comes to VGP virtual GPUs, uh, there are all kinds of different solutions out there. And uh, here in this presentation, we'll focus only on uh, those that are being represented by uh, um, mediated devices. So to create a, a, a virtual GPU, um, um, a relevant uh, driver needs to be installed on the, on the host. And some vendors, they already have their drivers uh, part of the kernel. Uh, so it makes it uh, very easy to consume. As for example, in the case of uh, NVIDIA, um, there is a need to install the driver um, uh, separately. And um, also the creation of um, uh, virtual GPUs um, is, um, uh, requires a license. Um, <clears throat> but uh, generally speaking, um, every GPU card that uh, supports uh, virtual GPUs uh, can be partitioned differently. And um, depending on the driver, each of these uh, partitions are being presented as um, different uh, types. And uh, these types are pre-created by, um, by the driver. <clears throat> um, so um, these types, they are different in, uh, um, they're different between each other and they're different in uh, uh, frame buffer size, uh, they're different re resolution that they provide and they're pro, uh, different in the, in the density, uh, for example, how many um, virtual GPUs can run on uh, one physical GPU. And they serve uh, completely different use cases. I just listed a few, but there are many more. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
Um, yeah, so um, it's it's really up to the administrator to um, to decide uh, which types uh, will become available in the cluster, what exactly uh, the cluster needs. Um, depending on the density uh, or perhaps a, a use case, whether it serves uh, virtual GPUs or um, like training models or anything. Um, so, uh, but um, also on the other hand, um, uh, the creation of these um, uh, virtual GPUs um, in general, it's, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but the problem becomes uh, when you have a node with um, um, multiple cards on it which may differ uh, there can be uh, different cards on the, on that node that uh, serves uh, different types um, of uh, um, of VG vgpus and there can be of course uh, multiple nodes uh, that serves multiple cards and this is the problem that uh, kubert is uh, uh, starting uh, to solve with the uh, um, with the introduced, uh, newly introduced uh, mediated devices configuration API. So with, with this API, uh, all the administrator needs to do is to list uh, the desired types um, that you would want to uh, become available in the cluster. And um, uh, these devices, they have uh, these types, they have a, a priority in listing. So the first one uh, will have a higher priority uh, for configuration than, than the one listed below. And uh, this configuration can be expanded to um, uh, to specific nodes. Uh, so, for example, we can override um, the um, default configuration uh, with a specific configuration per node or per uh, group of nodes, uh, depending on the labeling of the of these nodes. Um, uh, sorry, um, <laughs> one thing is that uh, once uh, uh, this configuration is applied, um, Kubert will uh, try to uh, configure these devices, uh, uh, these uh, types and nodes. And um, the next slide will, will actually will talk about how this is working. Um, so here we have a, a configuration that, um, um, uh, that the administrator has provided. Um, and it has a mix of um, uh, different uh, types uh, of that belongs to different types, uh, that belongs to different cards. Um, sorry about this. And, and what, um, what Kubert will do in this case is that, um, for example, on node number one, um, it will uh, create um, a ring buffer. And um, this ring buffer will be filled with, um, with the intersection of uh, the desired devices that uh, has been listed by the administrator. And what is actually possible to configure on that on these cards that are available in the node. Um, so, for example, in, in uh, for Tesla T1, uh, T4, um, there's a there's a list of um, different types that it supports, and I just listed a, a few, but in general, it can support up to uh, 17 different types. And uh, uh, the intersection here will uh, show us that there are uh, three types that can be configured here, but there are four cards. <clears throat> so um, in that case, uh, we'll just uh, iterate over the, the ring buffer and uh, we'll, um, we'll configure each card with uh, a single type. And in that case, uh, you can see that uh, the importance uh, of, uh, of the order uh, uh, takes place here. And uh, uh, one of the cards will be configured with the NVIDIA 230 type uh, twice. Um, and on the other hand, uh, on node two, we have uh, two different types um, of cards that support different types. So for Tesla V100, uh, we would have uh, um, the desired types uh, configured. And for uh, Tesla T4, we can configure three types, but only the first two will be configured um, depending on the, on the priority of these cards. Um, so I have a um, small presentation, a small demo that uh, um, I compiled. Um, I, I didn't have a, a lot of nodes and I don't have a lot of cards um, on them. So it's just one node with one card, <laughs> but uh, I, I just want to present uh, 
um, a general process uh, of uh, how the administrator would configure uh, the, these uh, immediate devices and then um, list them for Kubert to discover them and start a device plugin for them. And then how um, a virtual machine can uh, request uh, to consume uh, one of these devices. Uh, so like I said, uh, there is only one node uh, that we have. Uh, by the way, I, I will list uh, the link to this um, to this uh, demo afterwards if the font is too small. So there is only one card. Uh, I will show you that uh, there is uh, um, absolutely no media devices configured on that node. Yeah, like uh, like I said, there are uh, no media devices uh, configured. We'll configure one of the types. It doesn't really matter. Just uh, for uh, for the sake of the demonstration, we'll configure type uh, two hundred twenty two. And uh, there are 16 instances of this uh, type available on that node. Um, um, we will uh, update the Kubert CR to request um, to request uh, this type to be created. Um, so here we are requesting um, to create NVIDIA 222 type and uh, um, we will also permit uh, the use of this uh, uh, type in the cluster. Uh, these two are uh, these two correlate. It's just uh, sometimes it's easier to use it uh, by the shirt name, but um, it's also possible to to use uh, here uh, the full name Grid uh, T four one B as well. Um, so we ask to create uh, this um, uh, immediate device and we will uh, start to device. We expect Kubert to start to, to discover it and start the device plugin once this type is created. And um, we'll see now that uh, immediate devices uh, are being created. So there are 16 uh, instances of that type uh, has been created. And um, we'll see the availability of, uh, of uh, this type uh, drops to zero because uh, there, are no more uh, there are no more instances of the type that we can create. And uh, now we'll see that uh, Kubert starts a device plugin for, uh, for this uh, discovered device. So here in the allocatable section, we see that uh, there are 16 instances of that uh, uh, type available, and we can see that uh, it's actually Kubert that started this device plugin. Um, yeah, we can see from the log that uh, it discovered that device and set the device plugin for it. So now we can uh, request, uh, uh, now we can start uh, a virtual machine that requests this uh, type. Um, yeah, so here we're requesting this uh, grid uh, T41B. And uh, this will this virtual machine will start and run. will connect to its uh, console, but uh, uh, it, during this presentation, I didn't have uh, PCI utils installed, so I'm installing it here. But we'll save some time and uh, fast forward to when it's installed. All right, um, now it's installed, and uh, we can see uh, we can use a LSPCI to see um, that the instance of this card. Uh, the instance of the T4 uh, card is being present on the node. And this is uh, actually what we want. We want to see a um, uh, virtual, uh, virtual GPU present in that, uh, assigned to that uh, virtual machine. Um, so here we saw a process where we configured uh, media to devices and then we uh, advertise them to, um, to Kubert to consume. And then the virtual machine requested this device. And now we'll delete uh, the virtual machine and do the opposite. We'll uh, remove uh, these media to devices and we'll um, remove the uh, uh, this device, uh, this resource from being permitted in the cluster. And the expectation is that um, Kubert will remove all, all of these 16 instances of, the, uh, of these media to devices and we'll stop a device plugin for it. Uh, so we'll update uh, uh, Kubert CR again, and we'll remove all of this configuration. 
and we expect to see uh, media devices being removed. So no, no media devices here, and the availability uh, goes back to 16 because now we can again uh, manually configure 16 instances of that type. And then we'll see that uh, the device plugin has been act deactivated. Um, so in the allocatable section, we can see that uh, there are zero devices um, available. And we can see that uh, Kubert does, uh, did that um, by looking at the log again. Yeah, so uh, this is the entry that uh, shows that devices, uh, this device plugin has been uh, dis disabled. Uh, so all in all, this is uh, everything I had to um, show you. And um, if there are any questions, I'll be happy to answer. So thank you, Vladi, for the awesome presentation. Very cool. Um, thank you. There is a question here. So Andre, well, let me see. So Andrew is asking, can we have one GPU like NVIDIA T4 sliced in different size, uh, you know, four, you know, sliced with one giga, uh, I think four with two and one with four, something like that. So uh, specifically for, uh, for this uh, T4 card, that uh, we can configure only one type of uh, VGPU per card. And um, um, yeah, we, we can use different types. Uh, each type represents a different uh, frame buffer. Um, but yeah, it, it's only one type uh, per card. Mm -hmm. And also he's asking if we can change the slice partition dynamically. Yes. So basically updating uh, Kubert CR uh, will lead to uh, the deactivation. Um, so we will remove all the all of these media devices, and uh, uh, we'll configure something else that uh, has been requested. Mm -hmm. um, Ash is also uh, asking a question here, so he, I'm going to read. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I he has so I have a clarifying question here. Can you specify multiple potential types that a VM can request in priority order? so that if the ideal type is unavailable, it will be scheduled on the next available. And if it cannot be scheduled due, due to a resource type being unavailable, can you just have it run on CPU? I, I think he's mean about the, um, uh, the, 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 the desktop. Um, I'm not entirely sure how to answer that. Um, in, in general, when we are requesting a, a resource on the via, a virtual machine instance, um, this has to be met. Um, so we will not schedule a, a virtual machine if uh, uh, we cannot meet uh, all the requirements. This is just how uh, Kubernetes works. Um, so I don't, I'm not entirely sure yeah uh, so actually you can you can just uh, email me if you would like um, do you wanna ash do you wanna talk uh, speak or i can enable you if it doesn't if it's answered okay right. Thank let's you. wait okay okay so I also have a question. It's uh, you know related to you. You mentioned that you cannot. The drivers must be installed already. So you you need you you know to do all the configuration. I'm thinking that if you have already you know the type, the you know the specifically you know it's T4. It's you know all the the type of the 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 GPU. Also the vendor. It's Nvidia maybe is it possible to have some vendoring configuration that can be you know auto configured in the node in general it's possible so um for example uh, here in kubert we um 
this is a uh, open source so we we can have um uh, the drivers uh, pre-installed and uh, um but uh, when we're speaking about uh, products like for example openshift and then um, nvidia has a openshift uh, operator uh, open, uh, OpenShift GPU operator, and this uh, GPU operator provides um, a vendor-specific drivers, and it will deploy it on every node um, where this is needed. So this is currently in works, um, but uh, this is the goal that uh, we are trying to achieve. Um, I, I don't makes know if sense. I answered the question. No, yeah, it makes sense. It should be something external, something that NVIDIA yeah. has operator that will configure the nodes. Yeah. Yeah, in, in Kubernetes, we just want to be generic. We want to be open to, to every vendor. I, I, I use NVIDIA because this is the hardware that I have, but it, it surely works with the, uh, with Intel and um, yeah, any, any vendor that uh, uses uh, virtual GPUs, uh, it should work. Nice. And uh, the last questions here. So Andrew is also saying that, can we collaborate? He has like a more than, well, he has 40,000, you know, T4 GPUs that can be tested. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're <laughs> already in our Kubernetes uh, 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 community meeting, so absolutely. Okay, so thank you very much, Vlade, for the presentation. It was very good, and we'll... Thank you. Uh, thank you.